I'm standing in a bed of poison ivy. It's all around my feet. I have a large vine on my right. I have another large vine on my left. I have a dead vine right here. That dead vine probably still contains uracil. That's the nasty oil in poison ivy that will give you a rash. I'm not afraid of this poison ivy because I understand how poison ivy works. If you understand how poison ivy works, you never need to get a serious rash again for the rest of your life. I learned how to prevent it without buying silly, expensive products with pictures of poison ivy on the container. You can too. I have nothing to gain from telling you this except to help you stay healthy and happy and unafraid of the woods. With my knowledge from 25 years as a scientist studying inflammation of the skin, eight years of working in the woods after retirement, I put together a simple, easy program that stops uracil from entering my skin. Uracil is a greasy oil found in poison ivy, sumac, and oak. You don't even have to touch a plant to get a rash. But it's impossible to get a rash without getting uracil on your skin. Have you ever touched a tractor tire? Ever moved a chainsaw? Ever picked up a rake? If those things were exposed to uracil, they might transfer it to your skin months or even years later. This is just axle grease, but it behaves pretty much like uracil, the nasty component in poison ivy. It is a greasy, merely invisible oil that can attack you without your ever going near the poison ivy plant. You don't get a poison ivy reaction just because you got the poison ivy on your skin. You get it because you didn't effectively get it off your skin. If you understand how uracil works, you may go the rest of your life without ever having a serious poison ivy oak, or sumac reaction again. Simply clean your skin within two to eight hours of contact. Easy, right? Not really. Many people get poison ivy rashes even though they took a shower in time to remove it, but they did not wash effectively. It is as hard to remove as the automotive grease. Ever go to dinner and realize you still had car grease between your fingers or on the back of your arm after washing up? I'll bet you have. Uracil finally makes it under your skin, not just because you got it on your skin in the first place, but because you didn't wash it off on time and it can work its way in. That's why poison ivy rash often shows up on the back of the arm, between the fingers, or behind the ears. Here I demonstrate three different cleaners on my arm. Plain old dial soap, tech new poison ivy cleaner, and Dawn dishwashing soap. I rubbed all three cleaners onto a spot of grease, and then waited two minutes per the recommendation of the tech new manufacturer. Next, each was rinsed off with lukewarm water. Notice, soap was not as good as the tech new, which was not as good as the Dawn. But none were able to remove all the grease on their own. Now I'll show you that what cleaner you use is not particularly important. The most important thing is friction. All three spots are removed simply using a damp washcloth. And that's it. The main secret to successfully preventing poison ivy rash. Clean with any soap, but make sure you use a washcloth or loofah on every possible place that might have been contaminated. A damp washcloth alone is more effective than any of the cleaners without a washcloth. There's no reason to buy fancy soaps. What is important is to make sure you apply vigorous friction with soap and a washcloth and you have to hit all the spots where you might have transferred the poison ivy. Your waistband, your groin, any place on your body that you might have touched with your fingers. Make sure you soap up and wash three times, rinsing thoroughly each time, and wiping down good with a washcloth or the loofah. Practice using grease like I did here in the video, and take this knowledge to the field with you if you want to avoid ever having a serious reaction again. If you are out in the field for hours at a time, create a little wash station for yourself. But you don't have to be obsessive. Just wash up if you know you've been contaminated within two to eight hours. Thanks for watching and don't be afraid to go in the woods. Knowledge is a powerful thing. Remember, you don't get poison ivy rash because you contacted poison ivy. You get it because you didn't wash the uracil off. Work in the woods with confidence knowing you don't have to be afraid anymore. I spend a lot of time working in the woods on wildlife habitat. I still do get a spot of poison ivy rash here and there occasionally, but I have not had a serious case in years. 
If I do get a reaction, it is mild and isolated, and I know beyond a shadow of a doubt it is my fault, not the fault of the poison ivy plant.